Hello, my name's Jason and welcome to Oily. Yes, welcome to Oily. Yes, welcome to Oily. Me and Smidge uh, have been talking about what we're going to be doing and uh, we've uh, decided to do the first painting, doing the idea that I created uh, using uh, the computer. But then after that, I'm going to be using reference pictures and whatever I can come up with. So every day I'm going to be doing a painting. Yeah, every day. Yeah, every day I'm going to be doing one. Smidge, uh, you was going to go do some drawing, wasn't you? Yeah, I want to draw. Yeah, well you go over there and you do some drawing and I'll, uh, <laughs> I'll do the video. Okay, so I thought to myself, I need to uh, do something simple because this is going to be uh, quite a challenge for me to do a painting every single day, even around work. <laughs> but it'll be fine because I'm so hyped up for doing this that uh, I'll have lots of energy for doing paintings. So here we go, the paints are on the palette. Let me show you what I've got on here. There's um, the, uh, in the description I'll list the paints as well, hopefully, if I remember. <laughs> but so what we've got, we've got some uh, titanium white and some ivory black. I always have a black and a white. I always use black and white, um, mostly anyway. And uh, I've got this Naples yellow because painting, uh, master paintings has started to affect me. <laughs> I've started using the palettes that they use sometimes, palette colors. Uh, some cadmium yellow. So I've got my two blues, my old faithful cerulean blue and ultramarine blue. And I'm using sap green and raw umber. And these are water mixable oils you can mix them with water or you can use the water mixable oil medium and they're all artisan paints and there's no um, toxic uh, things that we need to use because we're not using paint thinners and things like that because we're using water to clean our brushes and then we can use a, a bit of linseed oil if we want to thin the paint or water <laughs> Anywho, uh, let's have a look at the picture. Let me move this back. So this is the uh, the picture that we're gonna have a go at. It's one that I saw and uh, and I was like, oh, that'd be quite a nice one to do. I quite like these trees, the, these uh, conifers. And I thought I could really emphasize the shape a bit more than what I saw. And uh, the sun was, you know, when you get a lot of cloud, you get a little bit of light um darting across the field and it was just in front it was uh, quite amazing the way the light was just in front of the trees the trees are quite dark and then the light at, behind them as well with the clouds and the sky it was so light but the trees were really dark so i was like oh yeah, i'd make a good painting so i remembered it and drew it and uh, here we are <laughs> so let's get down to this let's get going let's get some paint on this canvas I'm excited actually. I'm excited to get some paint on the canvas. And I'm, I'm not going to be too strict with myself because uh, I've been strict with myself doing paintings. It's time for me to loosen up a little bit. So I'm just getting some white and some uh, cerulean blue, cerulean blue, and a little bit of ultramarine blue. Just making my blue. Now let's remember this, the sky, hmm, I'm just thinking, should I put some areas in for where the trees are? I might do actually. Let's use this other, this small brush, yeah that'll do. Give it a bit of water, tiny bit of water and I'll use a tiny bit of brown on this, this water. Just thinking, I probably should give myself a better, better chance. Oh, there's a hair there. Was it a hair or was it a gesso? Oh, it was a hair. So, we had the horizon line quite high, so the horizon was like there. That sort of area. Let's use this brown. Yeah, I think it is a better idea to do this, and then we can. Uh, we want to we want to do a good picture. Want to do good. So I'm going to give myself a bit more uh, of an opportunity to shine. <laughs> mm. 
If you're uh, having a go at this, uh, someone asked me the question, can I use uh, oil pastels? Since it's oil eye and I like oil pastels, can I use oil pastels every day? And I say, yes, you, you do whatever you like. If you like oil pastels and that's what you want to use, then you should, yeah. And uh, it's a good idea. I like oil pastels as well. I thought I'd use my oils f for me. I might do a day of oil pastels. Still oil eye, isn't it? We can still use oil pastels. Oil eye. We're celebrating this this month. It's a celebration of oil paints. That's what oil eye is about. If you've never heard of it before, it's because I made it up. <laughs> But it should, there should be a, a month to celebrate oil painting because it's, it's a fantastic thing to do and it's really enjoyable. I'll do for my uh, sketch. It's really enjoyable and uh, I think it needs to be celebrated as such. So let's have a look at this below. I haven't got a photo or anything for me to have a look at and go, oh, is it like this? Is the color like that? So we're just going to make this up and I might do a lot like this because I'm, I'm sort of imagining where the trees are. We're going to, I'm going to use quite thick paint and then uh, when I start putting the trees in, so I'm not worried too much about, about them. So it's quite light at the horizon. So I'll just throw a bit more white on my brush. It's for the horizon. I might need a bit more than that really. Let's get a bit more of the white, titanium white. That's a bit better, a bit more light. Some more of this blue. So I'm just putting the paint on. I uh, took Clive's advice. If you watch Clive on Clive Five Art told me off <laughs> he said Jason in his Welsh accent this this is how the Welsh speak they go uh, Jason you must you must make sure that you uh, make me put put your uh, Jesso on your canvas <laughs> <laughs> no I can't really do a Welsh accent but yeah he told me off he says oh why aren't you uh, why aren't you just so in canvas? You should not rely on the uh, the people that sell it to you that they've gessoed it because they don't use gesso, they use like a primer. And he's right because I checked. Some of them do gesso it, but some of the cheapy ones, even not the cheapy ones, do not. Ooh, what are we doing? Um, that was really light in that center. The cloud was there. Uh, let me think about this. So we're going to think on our feet here, and uh, I get some more colour. Let me just think. I <laughs> that colour disappeared quick. Uh, yeah, we need to make sure we don't go too dark in that area. Um, mommy, 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 ma. It'll be alright. We'll just carry on. We'll just dodge that area in from now on. So that's some of this blue. So the it goes kind of like that. So my sketch um, is only tone and. Uh, and, and the reason it's only tone is because I didn't really want to worry about anything else. Oh, let's just put some paint in. I just uh, thought I'll just mix the colours as I go and I'll worry about it afterwards. So yeah. Let's 
さ<笑>なんだまあ、ビギスパーハイズ、ウィルハーズ、グーニンディーピッチャー、フォールアウトフォーミューブローシュ、ワインズミライオップ、イズ、ウィルパーハイズ、マイン、スキンペットのライト、ヘイウィゴー、ヘイウィゴー、ヘイウィゴー、ヘイウィゴー、ヘイウィゴー、ヘイウィゴー、ヘイウィゴー、ヘイウィゴー、ヘイウィゴー、ヘイ This is the first time I've used uh, this setup, and、uh, I'm finding it awkward. <laughs> so I'm just going to change something. Okay. <laughs> I just put a board on the、uh, easel just to stop the、uh, canvas moving when、uh, I paint on one side <laughs> because it was just on the big easel. Uh, that I've been using. Anywho,、um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get. I'm thinking about doing the sky afterwards. So I'm thinking on my feet here, and I'm thinking that if I do the sky now, some of the white, the really light white, is going to bleed into the tree. But then also, the dark will bleed into the sky. <laughs> So, either way,、uh, I think I'll do the light. Let's add some light. So, I want it to go across there. Across there. And create that sweeping shape. So, I'm just I'm loading quite a lot of paint on my brush now, just for that bit. So, I wanted to get that in there. And then sweeping, sweeping across here as well. Swept across there. And then across here. And then it's quite light all the way across there. Sit back, have a look. I'm just going to go over this. Soften, 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 soften. Soften, soften, soften. Smooth it all out. Make it all nice and smooth. Okay. Yeah, it's not bad. I want a bit more of the, the blues, a sec. Get some more of the blues. Let's put some more. More of the blues here.
just strengthens that area a little bit. Pull it down with the ultramarine. Okay, sitting back, having another look. I'm okay with that now. Just get a. Uh... Now, what I could do to stop any issues is get a bit of paper. <laughs> Got a lump of blue on my finger. <laughs> Get that off. Don't want to have blue hands. Do you ever have that issue when you're wiping paint off and uh, you wipe some off and then you don't notice you've got some in the area of the rag or on another finger and then you're wiping it and then it ends up being more. <laughs> I'm trying to clean my hands, not make them worse. Yeah, it just happened to me. <laughs> okay, just making sure I'm recording this. And I am. So, here we go, let's move on. You probably noticed uh, these episodes are very relaxing. As in, uh, not hyped up. Smidges over there drawing away. He's hyped up. <laughs> okay. So I'm just considering my brushes for my trees. I don't want too small a brush, but I don't want too big a brush. I think this one will be all right. This number four graduate flat brush. So trees, trees, shape. Let's get some green. Let's get some of this uh, raw umber. Let's throw in some black. Maybe a little bit of blue as well. So we've got sap green, raw umber, ivory black, and a bit of blue. So it's quite dark. This is. It's really dark actually. So let's see if we can use this brush to do nice. Nice trees, nice trees. Okay, so if you look at the brush on here, I'll go, go in a bit closer. You can either use it this way or you can turn it around and use it this way. So you, you've really got two brushes in one. <laughs> so you could use it like this, say to do the tops. So if I want to do the top of the tree, I just use that. And then I can be really delicate with the paint and then Bring it down like this, moving it. Or I can go to the other side, like this this area, because it's quite quite wide there. I like that shape. I like the shape of the tree. Or you can use the um, three brushes in one. Or you can use this bit. Like that. So, this. so I'm using quite a lot of paint because because of that white on there. So sit back, have a look at that tree. Is there any areas that you like, don't like? Areas that you want to change? I'm thinking I quite like it. Maybe it needs more of a, a shape there. It's quite a thick tree. Reminds me of the tree I was looking, looking, staring at earlier. <laughs> there was this tree and I was staring at it. Can't keep my eyes off it really. I could do a bit of sky color in here. A bit 
Get some more of this dark. Now this tree, this tree is going to be different. I'm going to go like this first. If so you're doing this, then I can go well, the wiggly bit. Wiggly bit. That's where I want my uh, shapes. I want the shapes to be on the wiggly bits. Just pick up some more of this colour. my shape there's my shape again and there's my shape again then you can put in all your little details afterwards quite like that tree actually it's got a nice shape to it This tree looks monstrous compared to that nice elegant one now. And this one's going to be a bit thinner. A little thin one now. That's quite nice. Quite like that little thin one. I'm tempted to put one in there, but I quite like those three the way they are. Okay, let's do another one. So, ask yourself, which idea did you like? Did you like the way I did the wiggly bit first? Because I quite like that. Or would you prefer to just do a straight line? Because if you go wiggle, wiggle, wiggle like this. <clears throat> Gives you a different, a different way. Wiggle there, a little bit there. There, when it comes out there, like that. get some more of this dark. I'm going to charge in with the dark because it's on the light bit, so I want these dark ones to stand out a bit. Okay, yeah, liking that, I'm liking it. Now we've got another one, this is quite a thin one over here. We'll leave a bit of a gap there, because there was a bit of a gap in the other one. And that light, just get some light. That light was sipping across here. See, we can come back and do this. Add a bit more to it afterwards, if we wish. It just improves it a bit, it gives it a bit more of the uh, texture, a bit more texture. We like texture, so we're going to use the brush this this way again. I'm going to I'm going to wiggle this time. I wiggle, wiggle the brush, wiggle it into shape, and then wiggle some. See, I'm, I'm trying to be creative with my strokes and I'm showing you different ways because I want you to uh, learn creative ways to add paint. You don't have to just use one system, you can use all different systems. You can experiment and try out lots of different ways to paint and then, and then you can just start doing all kinds of things put in some undergrowth in here. Grab a bit of sap green on my brush. Get this shape in there. So it's all starting to develop a bit more. And now there's another, another tree, a bit bigger tree this one. There. Plant him in. He's got a nice shape to him. Just using these little flicky strokes, flicking it back in. 
just grabbing the color and bringing it in like this. Just little flicky strokes. You can use a smaller brush, bigger brush, doesn't matter. See the different size brushes just changes the effect. You can use lots of different brushes. You could use a knife, you could use a toothbrush. <laughs> I know a painter that's used a toothbrush. Nice little teeny one there. Little teeny one. He's grown up. He wants to be like the other ones, big and strong. Let's do this one. This, this nice. Pop, 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 pop. Lots, lots of color, lots of color, and chum, 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 I'm going to turn to see if my uh, vision or my memory or what's been created in my mind is looking like and you're trying to put it down on your canvas and at the same time you keep getting paint on your finger <laughs> and you're like ah oh, no not again so you've got to get the white wipes out and wipe the paint off the hand Okay, so moving on, let's get some of this yellow. Let's get some of this yellow. Let's get some of this green in that yellow. So we're going to highlight these trees. Let's go to some of this bold dark color. Look at that dirty, dirty color. But we don't want it to be too light because it, um, it was quite dark and I remember it being dark. So we need it to stay darkish. Just quietly come in and lighten certain areas. Maybe a little, not too. That's probably it. that's probably enough. So quite a lot of pain on both sides. Yeah. Certain areas you want to lighten up. But I'm keeping these quite. I don't want to go too overboard with these. Okay, just a little bit. Just grabbed a bit of blue, just to blue them a little. out areas that you want to be a bit lighter you don't have to do too much though you can just keep it just do bits here and there blip 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 Just gives it a bit of greenness. Now I'm gonna put some of this back in a bit of the Naples yellow. Just gonna lighten that bit there and up in there. Naples yellow. Let's go. Just gonna do these downward strokes just to add something into this undergrowth. A bit of that yellow just to change things a bit. Okay. Da -da 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 -da. 
I'm using that colour. I'll just bring that together like that. Okay, let's sit back and have a look at that. That's kept it quite dark, which is what we wanted. And you can't see over the trees because it's, it's on like a hill. So it just goes to sky. And you, and that's how it looks. And now what I'll do is I'll grab some of this dark in with the green and put it at the base. flavor a little bit here and there. A bit of the Naples yellow in there now and then. A bit more of that green. This is like our base, base color. Now the strip of the light needs to go about there. Thoughts going. Don't want it to be all exactly the same. And I want some of that in there as well. You see, using the same colours all over the painting gives the painting a unity, you see. It seems when you first started painting and there's so much to think about and it, it's quite hard the skill is hard and you suddenly then you suddenly painting and then you're like well, I don't know, don't know what to paint now that becomes the issue not how to paint what to paint so then you need to start looking at everything looking at things thinking about what you want to paint what makes you happy? Okay, let's just fill that in to there. Okay, I'm going to use another brush now because I don't want a dirty brush for this bit. Let me get some of this yellow. And some of this yellow. Let's do it there. And some green, just a little bit of green like that. Well, I'll dirty up a little bit. Mm, yeah. Some of that Naples yellow in there. Really get it like sunlight, because that's what it was like sunlight. Just throwing that in now. And I'm sort of blending it up to that dark green. Naples, Naples yellow, cad yellow, a bit of the green. When you pick some of that other green up, just move it across, it actually works quite well. Because then you get another. <laughs> I'm not sure if that made sense actually. If you pick up some of the dark, I'll do it on purpose, watch. Pick up some of the dark, and then you just move it across like that. It can create like another plane in the picture. That was a bit of an exaggeration, but you see what I mean? It just changes things a little bit. More that Naples yellow. That's how it was. The light, it just went shing across like that. Let's 
a bit of white. <laughs> that is what it was like really dark trees and then there was that little bit of all sorts there and uh, we can <laughs> see if we've got one let's use this liner brush it's, uh, it's a Bob Ross liner You probably noticed I'm a, a bit of a Bob Ross fan, and, uh, so I like to use some of the stuff that he used. Any reason I use um, water mixable oils is because I could get them easy, and and I don't use any. Anything that's harmful, like affects you breathing, like paint thinners and stuff. But you can do it. You can paint using these, and they're fantastic. Because I just want to keep painting, and I love painting. So what I'm going to do now, because I've got my uh, basic idea done. I mean that was it that was what I saw but I want to now I want to do some slight changes to uh, the foreground I just want to get some texture in the base and I'm using quite a lot of paint and I'm just dragging it here and there using all this different colors different dark colors you see that you see that you can see that blobbing on some like actual blobs of paint it just roughs up the uh, foreground a little bit which is what i want i'm gonna rough it up a little bit some of the light is gonna come off as well which i'm okay with Step back, have a look. Okay, now I'm gonna just gonna pull down these these bits. Because it was all like grass, grassy bits are down here. So I'm just gonna dance my brush through them. sitting back so I think I think for painting number one of oil eye Could keep going and going and going and going. I just wanted to soften that bit. Okay, just sit back, having a look, and uh. Use my soft brush just to go over this 
whole thing. There we go. Oh yeah, we wanted to do that. There's one more thing that I want to do. That was add some... Uh, in the sky I wanted to add some bits of paint as well. So I'm just rolling it on, I'm rolling the paint on. It's a bit of white and blue. Just rolling my brush and letting some of the paint come off. Just adds a little more bite to the sky, I should say. A little bit of bite. These little, uh, little details that just improve the picture a little bit more. Gives my own sort of uh, stamp on it. And when you do yours, experiment with brush strokes. Have fun with your painting. Enjoy yourself. And uh, I think this one I'll uh, call this one finished. Uh, thanks very much for watching this episode. Um, this is number one of uh, Oil Eye, and uh, I'll be doing another painting tomorrow. Um, but these videos probably will not all get edited, so they're probably just going to get chucked on. <laughs> so if you're watching this, thanks very much for watching. And uh, don't forget to check out my Facebook or um, wait, <laughs> or check out my Facebook so you can send me a message. Or maybe you're doing oil eye and you want to share your picture. Or maybe you've just done a painting you want to share. Uh, please share it and uh, comment on this video if you like it or... If you want to see something else, uh, put a comment in. Anyway, thanks very much for watching. Uh, don't forget to check out my Patreon as well. And uh, also my T-shirts. <laughs> anyway, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in another episode. Cheers, bye.